Greetings, YouTube. Farmer Son Prepping here. We're outside today on the back porch. And uh, I'm going to try to make you all a tripod, an easy tripod, and show you how to set up for uh, natural water purification. First thing we need to do is make a tripod. I went and saw these uh, poles here with my sock, with my silky. Uh, two of these are green, one of these I found on the ground, so it's whatever you can find. These are by no means straight poles. <laughs> Sometimes you have to rotate them to kind of get them to where they'll snug up a little bit. Very crooked. Kind of want them all, yeah, something like that. All right, next. This is take two, y'all. Uh, we have some number 36 uh, tarred bank line. It's what I use a lot because it, it uh, the knots just work way better in it. Uh, we cut us off here about a two foot piece, okay? And like I said, y'all, this is take two. I've already got a bowling in one end of it. Just uh, look up a bowling knot on YouTube. It'll teach you how to make one. Yeah, a bowling is the type of slip knot. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to stick our or try to get our bowling up under the, the poles here for our tripod I'm going to take one end stick it through the uh, this ain't how Corporal's Corner would do it y'all I get that stick one end of it through okay you're going to try to you're not going to pull them real real tight I'll show you a trick here in a little bit that'll, that'll help you Tighten them up, all right? Basically, you're just gonna make five or six rounds. Goes dad. Or it may be four or five rounds, depending on how much I have here. But uh, you wanna go around the poles a couple good times. I'm not the best at dressing up knots, y'all, or lashes here. But uh, you, you try to get it to try to get all your little lines together there. You want a good close knot or a good close lash. Sticks are wanting to move. All kind of good stuff. All right. Again, you don't pull them up real, real tight. Uh, we'll have we'll have a way of tightening that here in just a minute. I'm gonna go back through this bowling knot here on this one side. And go back around one more time. And I'll probably just finish it off with an overhand knot. If you don't know what an overhand knot is, it's that first knot you use when you tie your shoes. Yeah, I didn't know that knot had a name either, but it does. Uh, so, let's see here. We're just going to finish it off right here with an overhand might go two overhand on it and make sure, you know, secure. You never really know how rusty you are on your knots till you start trying to do something on camera. Okay. Now basically this, uh, this center pole here, what I'm going to do is I'm, you're going to take, I may have to slide this up a little bit. Slide this on up my poles here if I can. But what you're going to do is you're going to take this center pole and flip it. And what you're going to notice is that tightens up the lash on all this. Actually, I've already got this too tight. So I'll break the stick if I keep going. But basically, this is tight enough now. Uh, we have a tripod. I'm going to try to set everything up out here. I know the sun is, is blinding me. It's probably blinding the camera as well. Okay. Just your basic tripod set up. I'll move the... Uh, see if I can't set you all up a little bit better here real quick. Pull my feet all the way out. Hold on, y'all. All the way up. Stand you up here. All right. 
I can't see what is on camera here. Uh, sun has got me blinded, that blind today. I think that's got it right there, maybe. All right, so what we have here is we have some old t-shirts. They don't have to be cotton for this. The only time you really have to have cotton for charcoal loss, okay? But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knife and make you a couple of slits so you'll have something to tie off with. Can y'all see that? Make you some slits, that way you got something to tie off with. All right, we're gonna make our first little levels right here. We can build up a little bit, actually. That way our bottom one don't have to be so gigantic. All right. Let's see how we're going to do this. That needs to go over here. Get our little strips. Tie it to the pole on each side. This is a way to purify water or to clean filter filter water with natural things that you have in your environment. Hope you're all doing well today. Okay, this right here. It's, it's not going to look perfect, y'all. <laughs> You're going to have little uh, uneven pockets here. I get that. Tie this off. Actually, again, these need to go a little higher. Okay, so you got a little pocket right here. I'm going to grab another t-shirt. I'm going to save that and do that one on the bottom because that's a bigger t-shirt. That's right. Again, I got the strips cut so I can tie. Sometimes you may need to make two cuts so you can tie. You're going to make another one right here under this one. Yeah. So when I'm talking like on the lives or if, if I'm talking about making a natural water filter, this is what I'm always referring to. Okay, this is what I'm always talking about. There is uh, in my playlist, uh, Skill Vids by Other Channels, there is a Dave Canterbury video, which would be way better than this one, uh, where he explains how to do this. I may need to put that one right here on this, on this side. Sometimes you have to adapt to the plan here. Alright. And. Yeah. I gotta make me a split right there. Where's my knife go? I guess it's in my pocket. Excuse me. Sorry for walking in front of the camera here, y'all. Need to split like right here. Just rip it, make it as long as you need it. I chose these these poles. I made these poles. Uh, I did them about six foot high because that's how tall I am. But. Uh, Actually, what you probably need is some taller poles, okay? Because the next one, I have to probably adjust y'all down a little bit. The next one's gonna be way down here. Let's see here, a good tall spot right here. I'll take the camera and put it in my hand here in a minute so I can kind of give y'all an overview of what I've made here. If you can't see it, I know the sun is blinding. Right. Which way do I need to tie off over here? Make some slits somewhere. Right here on the sleeve. There we go. Tie it off right here. Just a couple overhand knots. Don't have to be nothing fancy. 
You just want it to hold. You just want it to be strong enough to hold your uh, your sand and your gravel and your whatever else you're going to put in it. Yeah, see, I need to. Where'd my knife go? I threw it in the ground here somewhere. There. Sometimes you have to alter your plan here. I put some strips in all these shirts, but you don't never know where you need them to be at, so that's the lesson I'm learning right now. Make that a little deeper. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to do some more recorded videos. I'm, I'm trying not to get stuck into just doing live streams all the time. That's when you get lazy. <laughs> when you do live streams all the time. I'm going to do that. So y'all can see it, maybe. All right, let's see here. Pop you out. Get out of there. Move this. Maybe if I can get you over here, you can kind of see what I've done. I've made three tiers here. You're going to pour in your dirty water, your old muddy water. You're going to pour it in the top layer right here. This, this top layer you're going to fill with grasses, all different types of grasses. Uh, and then the second layer, you're going to start out putting very small gravel in here or small aggregate and then work up to big gravel. And then down here in the third pocket, third pouch, you're going to put uh, sand and charcoal. Get you some charcoal out of your one of your old fires and crumble it all up. You want sand and charcoal in this one. Of course, you're going to set your bottle down here. It'll drip in different places coming off of each one. But find out where your drip's going to be and set your bottle under there. Lord, I hope y'all can see that. So that's my little tripod set up for water filtration. So what I'm talking about doing the tripod with the different levels, this is what I'm referring to. I will say mine's kind of a crappy looking one, but uh, doesn't matter what it looks like. It only matters what it can do. And if you put the right stuff in each pocket, you can pour in filthy, dirty, nasty, muddy water up here. And get fairly clean water at the bottom if you if you got it right the layers and stuff are right and then of course after you get your clean water in the bottom you would take that and boil it put you back on the tripod here move you around so that's the video i have for today about 55 degrees today it's a beautiful day in alabama a little chilly supposed to dip down in the 20s tonight uh and before winter part supposed to be here tomorrow maybe hope so i'm probably working on four wheeler while y'all are watching this tomorrow this is monday so this will be airing tuesday but uh appreciate y'all watching forgive my shoddy craftsmanship here but in a survival situation you gotta do what you gotta do and you have to use sometimes what you have to use. I didn't want to tear up all my bandanas to do this, so I tore up old t-shirts instead. Y'all have a blessed one. This is Farmer Son Prepping. We're out.